Hey guys and gals, I got a silver philharmonic here from GM Bullion. You see those marks there on the rim, right about there? So I get it, it's Bullion, right? It's not going to come perfect, it's not graded, you could scratch the heck out of it, and it wouldn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my pocket with a dollar's worth of change for a week. And we're going to see what that does to this Bullion coin. So we're getting some good shots here that we'll compare. A week from now after we start to scratch this thing up let's go in ultra 5k zoom here to give you a better look at the coin but it's in pretty good shape we should be able to see just how much damage one week in a pocket does i'm gonna wear jeans all week i do a lot of setting but i'll go out and take some walks Let's see how it goes. See you guys in a week. All right, before we get into the Philharmonic and what it looks like after a week, I just want to give two shout outs because I saw some real positivity recently on, on these channels and that was just really fun. So shout out to Sarge27271 and also to Silver Soldier Fortune. Um, they both had a ga, a giveaway. Well, and Sarge, Sarge won Silver Soldier of Fortune's giveaway, and he was just super happy about it, just posting a real positive video, saying real nice stuff, you know, real genuine, authentic video there, um, and, and talking about how great Silver Soldier of Fortune was. Then I went back and looked at Silver Soldier of Fortune. Yeah, and he's a great guy too, and, and just real positive stuff. So, yeah, it just made me smile, made me happy. Um so thanks guys for, for just being real nice on the internet. This is just so nice to see some positivity there. So check my description for a link to both their channels. Check them out. They're, they'll, they'll make you happy. I also just saw on Sarge's channel that he's going to change his name, but uh, I'm already subscribed to him. So, and I think his link should still work even after he changes his name. So whatever his future name is, you should subscribe to him. All right. It's been a week. My, how time flies. Here's the change that was in my pocket with the Philharmonic. Just, you know, Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, normal stuff. And here's the Philharmonic. Wow. <laughs> you put it under the camera and man, it got beat up. So same coin, right? You can see that those same marks on the corner there. Or on, on the rim, I should say. Uh, let's flip it over. Yep, the pipe organ, it did a little better than the instruments, but man scratches everywhere well duh right you put it in your pocket for a week with other change of course it's going to get scratched but i'm amazed at how much let's let's do a, a side by side here and you can just see how much the coin changed for funsies zoom in again 5x you can just see that that damage so kids if you want to keep your coins looking good don't throw them in your pocket <laughs> But yeah, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at how much damage that did. And you know, it's all for science, so it's all it's all good. So what do I do now? Well, I, I guess I'm just gonna do what I can. I got a 37 millimeter coin holder case. Nothing else fits it than the Philharmonic, really. Maybe something out there, but nothing I know of. So I'm just gonna put it in its case, add it back to the stack. That's all I know. This will just forever be the beat-up Philharmonic. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Don't scratch your coins, kids. Don't be like me. Take care. Thanks for watching.